Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Pawnee. I think we'll actually use this army to, to get these little tiny stacks. Oh hey! Two colonies just finished at the same time, and uh, Clevs is apparently trying to defend France. They took a crossing penalty. We have no leader. Um, let's put this guy in charge. And I should go check on those colonies that just finished. A little bit closer of a battle than I would have liked. I don't like all the morale. And, uh, or sorry, the, the manpower that we're losing from these. So, hmm. Right, we just finished two colonies. About to finish a third. More money. Thankfully, we're not gaining any serious war exhaustion. But it has built up over the years. How long has this war been going on? 1772? It's been four years. That's actually 24 regiments down to a third strength. Yikes. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like our war taxes wore off. I don't think we really need money. And we're really close to getting this. So we'll probably just wait till we have this. And I don't think we're going to be at war for two more years. Okay, that's kind of to be expected. As is that. France is up to 5.5 war exhaustion. It really bothers me that you can't release colonial nations as part of a peace deal. And with the AI, they're pretty much never going to um, to have enough liberty desire to allow you to support them. French peasants have risen up against France. That's hilarious. Sorry, France. I feel I feel guilty for causing such problems for you. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm going to continue to cause more and more problems for you, but I feel guilty about it. Yes, throw away your men. Just throw them into this thing. Peace offer from France. Nah. We're not getting a call for peace, so we're going to keep on making you bleed. Military rating. We've actually slipped down to fifth, it looks like. My war exhaustion's a big part of it. If we got rid of the point four war exhaustion, then we'd actually be right back up there with these guys. Um, we just need to recover manpower. Although getting the new tech will also help. Let's also yeah okay we're going to reduce war exhaustion, and then we're going to pick up the next tech level, which gives us the fortress. Sweet deal. Um, but we just get new troop types. Tons of new troop types. And that'll also help out with score because um, our tech level just went up. We'll see what it ends up at next month. French peasants! That'll work. We'll send half of them down there to deal with the peasants. I wonder if we can make France into a vassal. That'd be funny. I know we can't. I just think it'd be funny. Okay, let's consider what we would want. Release nations. Bourbonnet, absolutely. It's definitely something we want. Return cores. Poitou to Auvergne. Sure. 
Sounds good. Revoke your course. Give us money so you have to take out loans. And then a null treaty is just for the sake of weakening them. No treaties with Hungary. No treaties with Portugal. Or Naples. They'd, they're just willing to like just give us whatever the hell we want at this point. Do we stand to gain much more by continuing this war? Um, I don't think so. Aside from building up their war exhaustion... They're going to be dealing with the other two wars that they have for quite a while. We could take a break, get our manpower back up, and then come back in when these other two wars are probably over. I mean, they're going to be hurting for a long time. Lose mercantilism in favor of money, or we lose our naval reformer and gain diplo power. Well, mercantilism I normally really, really like, but it doesn't seem to matter too much when you're not a trading com country. Well, we will do this one. There goes the naval reformer. Let's get the diplo rep guy. Dissolution Act. Sweet. French peasants. France does have a, a, a small stack. How's France doing on manpower? They have 191,000 manpower. God damn. Look at that. <laughs> Occupied by Brittany. Brittany's coming back. And it looks like, unfortunately for France, Cleves is not involved in the Brittany War. So they came over together, but then Brittany wins. Because it's just France versus Brittany, apparently. Yep, France. Oh, looks like our guy just died. So we lost some stability. Damn, we're down by two points. How are we doing on score? Are we still in first place? That's what we really care about. Oh yeah, we got first. We can we can stick around at level one stability. That won't be that big of a problem. Oh, he's got five one five fire. I think we'll just take maybe the next one. And then get out of this war. They deeply distrust me, even though I am, I think, the one who released them. Yeah. When this one falls, maybe even if this one falls too, we'll see. Now, we'll do it now. Okay, so 360 ducats. Uh, it's going to cost us some Diplo points, who cares. They're going to give their core back to Alvarin. They're going to another treaties with three people. Let's just make sure they don't have any other treaties that they've picked up in the last few minutes. Return cores, revoke cores, release nations. Chance of trade power, which is a good measure. We don't actually have any trade power over here. Seems good. Okay. We'll, we'll get out of here, France. France now has 62 prestige. The lowest I've seen it in ages. We don't need military access with you anymore. Bourbon is going to love us. We should probably try to ally them. We can use that as like where we keep our army. They're already improving relations with me. That's funny. Uh, a battle against rebels. We lost.
Okay. Well, it's not really our, our battle anymore. Let's get all the ships together. All the ships together. You have to at least like me a little bit for returning your territory, right? Do you want to be my buddy? I'll totally be your ally. Let's go to my country. Castilian... Yeah, let's get rid of the military access for these things. In... 200 days, apparently. Now that we're not at war with France, are we still... Gaining more points than they are. France is down to... Still down here, so they're in ninth admin rank. They've, they've come back up in admin rank since we... Peaced out. They're losing war penalty is not nearly as high, so they've come back up to 28th in Diplo rank, but they're still not in the list. Military rank, they're third. I have only 14,000 manpower. So we need a few years to recover our manpower. Let's get rid of these light ships. I don't feel like we need them. 122 transports is good. Making good money, full maintenance. Let's go down on maintenance for a bit. That way we can recover our manpower. Fleet maintenance, we can probably skimp on as well. Should upgrade to the new unit types as well. So square infantry or the Impulse Infantry. I like this one. This one's got more offense, by far. Offense or defense? Let's take offense. Impulse. These ones will take the... Well, our modifiers are still heavily favoring Shock. Well, we've got like a, a really good 5-5. Five five. I, mean, I mean, he's good with whatever, so... Let's take the ones that are still really good with shock. And then we get the flying battery, which is apparently the the best cannon. Awesome. So the next war we go into is going to be pretty much it. I mean, there's still more morale that you can pick up, more tactics. One final point of tactics. So we do want that, but... Tax assessor, yearly inflation reduction. I don't think inflation's an issue. Now let's build up some things that are going to give us <clears throat> more manpower. These are tempting because they um, goods produced affects affects manpower. So it doesn't show it in the tooltips now, but it does. Three point five two. Three point seven seems kind of weak. Let's build that one. So I'm doing this because it costs very few points and at the same time gives us more manpower. And we have money, so. The colony was damaged. We lost. Oh, right. Naturally. I have low maintenance and we just changed over our troop types. Sweet, dude. That was awesome. How about you guys head down there then? But don't go through the Maya because then you're going to get stuck there. My own fault for skimping on money, or skimping on maintenance. 
and changing all three troop types at once. Innovative ideas. Um, we could get prestige decay minus one, which won't really matter that much. None of these things really matter that much. I don't think we're going to need any of them. I mean, the only one that's... I mean, they're, they're all pretty good, I guess. Monthly War Exhaustion minus 0 0.05 is really good. I guess it makes more sense than the other thing. Faster colonies. Yeah, it seems fine. Extra relations would help out as well. We can get some more allies. Okay, back up to speed four while we wait for manpower to recover. Looking at overall score, France is ahead of us now by about 1250. We're really kicking their butt in score gain. Spain has really jumped up though. All because they're balanced approach. My military rank went down a lot when I lowered my maintenance. Maybe we can't afford that then. I can't believe we're sitting here suffering attrition. I told you to go to pier. Dumb peoples. Um, we need friendly territory. So, Avern, um, I need you to become my ally, please. So, how about we ask for military access? You'll grant it, which makes us like you. And then, in a month, we'll offer an alliance. And now we'll dump quite a few men here. Brittany, we can probably get an alliance with again. Actually, no. They don't like us. This army is just too big, though, to put the whole thing here. Like, I think we can only really afford to have about 90 regiments. And this is what? Um... Call it 112. Let's take a little bit of each. Why isn't there a total? Shouldn't there be a total? Oh, there's a total. Not right there, 99. Actually, no, the 99 is like the, the total troops, though. It's not the total number of regiments. I hate that. Alright, so we're going to put these guys there. Um, we don't have any other coastal allies over here. Hey, do you want to be my friend? I need friends. Coastal friends. Hmm. Provence? Hey, Provence wants to be my friend. Let's go down to Provence. As far as score goes, with full maintenance, we're back up to fifth place. Very close to being in second. I mean, these, these were all, it's like a dead heat. Fully reinforced, you need 1,200 men. Fifteen regiments, losing 1%. It's only 150 troops. That number is growing because of the attrition at sea. So Provence has two two spots. Maybe we want to actually position the army here. That make more sense. Just waiting on that diplomat before I forget. Yep, 
And now we have too many diplomatic relations. Shocking, right? Oh, come on, I have to ask you for military access, really? So now we just need to either eh, let's just I just don't want to mess with it. Let's just pick up the next idea. It gives us more relations. You know? Seems fine. And then that'll go away. It's better than getting a next next level of military tech that we don't need that costs more. So okay. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. I think in the next video we're going to Probably speed 4, speed 5 it, all the way up until the point where we can declare war on France again, and then we're just going to continue to punish them. So, thanks for watching everyone. See you again soon.